Today I have chosen ants for my case study of animal communication, and I'm going to explain how symbolic language and collective learning has made humans different from animals. Ants are social insects of the family Formicidae, belonging to the order Hymenoptera. Ants can communicate in many ways with each other using pheromones, sounds, and touch. On the other hand, our language allows us to innovate, learn, share, preserve, and build upon our knowledge. One well-known way of ant communication is through the production of chemical scents known as pheromones. Pheromones are produced from glands all over the ants' bodies. These pheromones are used in many ways, such as communication with family, attacking of prey, defending of their colony, locating sweet food sources, sensing danger, and the relocation of their colony. These pheromones are detected at the ants' sensitive antennas. The left and right antennas tell the ants which way to turn depending on the varying pheromone strength. Ants produce alarm pheromones, which are released from the gaster and received by other ants. These pheromones can summon a few ants to a thousand. When a small area of a nest is disturbed, the ants produce an alarm response by drumming their abdomens. This stimulates other ants to follow immediately. The sound of drumming can be up to one meter in length and the volume of a medium-sized colony drumming is greater than human speech. In this video, the well-known biologist and researcher Edward O. Wilson, the first to discover how all insects produce their scent signals, is working with a captive colony of fire ants in 1959. Wilson is putting sweet bait on each side of his glue board and is squeezing the ants' gaster to release a chemical known as a pheromone. He is laying a thin trail across the board and seconds later a trail of ants follow. Mr. Holdobler agreed that Mr. Wilson's experiment shows how effective and strong pheromones are. Another very effective method of recruitment is known as tandem running, which is when an ant keeps in time with its follower, keeping constant antennal contact with its leader ant. Biologists from the University of Frankfurt, Mr. Moglich, and Harvard, Mr. Holdobler, discovered this tandem running. It starts when a successful forager returns to its colony, regurgitates its food to several nestmates, raises its gaster and extrudes a droplet of liquid from its sting gland, which attracts a nestmate to begin tandem running. As you can see in this video, these two ants are keeping constant antennal contact, leading them to their bait. Ants can communicate by touch and vibrations. Ants that live inside plants or leaf nests tap their gaster against the outside wall of the, the nest when they discover food or an enemy nearby. The tap sends vibrations through the nest's walls to alert the ants inside. Today, the study of ant communication has made a huge difference to our understanding of ants. However, humans, unlike ants, communicate in much more diverse and sophisticated ways, resulting as the most dominating species today. Human language is one of the most unique and advanced way of communicating today. Humans have carried the art of social communication to an extreme through the use of symbolic language. Creator of Big History, David Christian, states that our use of symbolic language provides an amazing flexibility to communicate about anything, anywhere. Many scientists believe that human language is the most complex than any other animal. It is a special talent that is limited to our species. Animals acquire knowledge over a lifetime, but this knowledge is lost when it dies. However, this is different for humans, who have language that can pass on from individuals to generations. Collective learning has allowed humans to innovate and learn to a degree never possible. It has allowed us to share, preserve, and build upon our knowledge. As a result, humans have been able to migrate into all areas of the Earth and even explore space. Despite the record of warfare throughout history, humans have demonstrated an incredible curiosity to know for knowledge's sake, not just to meet basic or immediate needs. This ability to preserve and pass on information makes humans different from other species, as no other language is so rich in its uses and possibilities. The study of communication in ants for the past 30 years has yielded an abundance of results that has improved our understanding of ants and their behaviour who have such proficient and skilled ways to communicate. Human beings possess a capability far beyond animals. Humans have the upper hand over all species on Earth. Some animals have the same traits as humans, making them truly unique among their own. 
Today there are human traits found in other animals, for example, like humans, elephants show empathy towards other elephants. Today, symbolic language and collective learning has made us, humans, truly unique, in which has made our abilities expand to show that we are capable of many boundless things.